Okay, so that's pretty good. You can see from both angles now a little bit better. But we definitely come all the way through on both sides. So I'll just get in there with whatever I can to clean it up. And you'll notice when you look in there that there's going to be some little chunks that are still attached to the bottom that you can't get out with when you come through, say, with a chisel. This is a little quarter-inch chisel. You can just use it to try and loosen everything up and come from both sides. Yep. And it's all just a fun little party in there with all these little chips. But we got to kick them out. But if you see some that are still attached to the bottom, you can just go in and do some little micro adjustments there, micro removal. Yeah. And then what I like to do, well, I should probably clean this out a little bit better. It works really well if you take it out and just dump it out as well. But that looks pretty good. All right, then what I like to do is get a large chisel and kind of come down and pair these sides. See if you can see that. And just make sure it goes up against your line, your marking gauge. And this kind of, I don't know if other people do this, but this just kind of cleans up the walls and make sure of the mortise and make sure that there is not a lot of any gunk sticking out that's going to get in the way of the tenon. And then I take this quarter inch chisel, which is slightly smaller than my mortise chisel, and I also pare down on both edges just to make sure that there's no no bulges in there. And that's looking pretty good in there. So I went down from the top. Now let me just pair from the bottom and that will remove any oops. Oh. That wasn't too too bad. <laughs> Just a chisel. All right, so I'm removing all the goobers on the bottom. So I'll get this all cleaned out and I'll show you what it, a real a super close up shot that shows you what it'll look like. Okay, so I got it chopped up and cleaned up and you can see here how it goes all the way through. Now this is a really nice mortise to cut. It's really easy because it's super simple to be able to flatten out the mortise from that side and also from this side. So you can do it, even if you're a beginner, it's a super simple mortise to cut. And so this, uh, this concludes the mortise video. So in the next video, we'll go on and use the mortise to create our tenon. And we'll put the tenon into the mortise. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find free video tutorials, buying guides, and reviews. Make sure you subscribe to my regular blog posts and also check out my 10 steps for getting started. Enjoy!